three, two, one, and go. We are live. Welcome to, if you don't know, episode two. I am Mike Hughes. This is Smash Life TV. Let's go. So, High Rocks 101, three part series we're going to split this into. We're going to start with episode number one, part A. What exactly is Hydrox? So, this is aimed at two types of people. Number one is someone that's new to Hyrox to introduce so you can begin to understand and when you feel inspired, you can get booked on and challenge yourself. You may have seen at the weekend, High Rocks Manchester two day event, an absolute festival of fitness. Incredible, the community, the energy, the fun, the vibe, it was wow. So that's person number one. Person number two, someone already in the scene. To give you a deeper level of knowledge and understanding, thought provoking, and hopefully uncover some golden nuggets to help you on your journey. We always like to finish with some final thoughts and maybe some questions may lead to a call to action. Nothing happens until something happens. Okay, so let's go. Without further ado, let's go. What exactly is Hydrox? Let's start with the most common question that's on everyone's mind. Let's start from the start and it's okay. I understand I was the same. When I first heard about Hydrox, I also added the D. There is no D. A secret revelation, there is no D, okay? It's not your fault though. Like I say, I remember the first time I heard it and I was saying, what is this Hydrox? Yeah, so why is this? Word association. This is a new word. Hydrox without the D is a new word. Uh, it was created by the founders, more on that in a minute. Um, and the D, so the word association, because we know the word hydro, which sounds close to high, high rocks, so naturally we say hydrox, because our brains, it takes a little bit of time to understand. So that's point number one. Anyway, to the origin of high rocks, what does it mean? Is it a real word? The answer simply is no, it wasn't a real word. It was created, put in the two words of hybrid, but also meaning top or elite with rocks, meaning rock star, which is quite a cool name, high rocks, as I'm sure you will agree, as many hundreds of thousands around the world agree. So the mission, uh, the mission is the fitness competition for everybody. Everybody meaning it's all inclusive. Anyone can do this. Of course, you do have to have a certain level of fitness, of strength, for example, pushing the sleds, um, but the, uh, you can go at whatever pace you like. You can go slow, you can go fast, and everywhere in between. It's not just for athletes. This is a common misconception. Now that leads into the marketing and the market. Uh, some other sports, for example, CrossFit, the marketing is big, ripped, you know, hench looking guys, so to speak. And that is one of the things that High Rocks do really well. Yes, they do promote the top athletes, the Elite 15, more on that in a minute, but also they promote the, the, the everyday person, the, the, the everyday athlete. We're at Ace Performance filming here, the Elite Fitness for the everyday athlete. And that is what High Rocks is about, it's for everybody. So, uh, moving on then into some of the key concepts. I'm not going to go into what High Rocks is because there's loads of stuff on that about that on the internet, the format and so on. Um, you can find that out yourself if you don't already know. Uh, the key concept, there's a low barrier to entry, meaning you don't need lots of equipment or high skill technical movements. For example, like in CrossFit, it's well known, not every, everybody, not every uh, human, I mean, they may have the potential, but not everyone can do handstand walks and muscle ups and all this kind of stuff. And that is for a certain type of person, which is great, but High Rocks, the fitness race for everybody. Uh, there's two types of people. Um, people can jump in uh, and achieve success early in two levels. Number one might be both ends of the spectrum. Number one is just to finish it. There's a 99.6% completion rate. So almost everybody completes the race. What an achievement. On the other end of the spectrum, for the more competitive people out there, is the podiums. Straight away, this is one thing that High Rocks do brilliantly, is you can become a, a podium, a podium place. They split, we'll come onto this in a minute, into age groups. So each age group has podiums per race. Phenomenal concept. This really makes you feel like an athlete. 
So maybe for somebody that's been, been training for a few years, going to the gym, not quite had a focus and a purpose, which is what we'll come on to in a second, um, this gives, it, gives that to you straight away. A couple of the core values, as we've mentioned, it's all inclusive, it's all about the community. Anyone that was in Manchester at the weekend will know it was an absolute melting pot of networking and bumping into people that you, you've met before and, and meeting new people, it was incredible. And yeah, the key point, I mentioned it already, is purpose. It gives training a purpose. Now, I, I've seen a lot of current or former athletes, there was a lot of rugby guys there at the weekend, shout out Lee Dewitt, Ben Kane, and so on, that um, have come away from sport, finished professional sport, and are looking for a new direction to go in. This gives, High Rocks gives you that, that purpose general gym goers that maybe you're training you've been training for a while you're not sure of exactly what direction you're going in you've not got specific goals again high rocks gives you that direction it gives you that purpose you get an event booked in and you've got four weeks six weeks eight weeks three months whatever it might be you can work back and plan you can plan your training work with a coach work at the gym whatever it might be and uh, work towards that goal um, so many um, so many uh, people in the UK and globally uh, uh, get to the gym and they just go through the motions with, uh, with no real goal or direction. Went a little off, off topic there. Um, and the final one is it's that opportunity to push and test yourself both against others and you can see every score on, uh, on, the, uh, on the website, more on that in a minute, but also against yourself. You get to do the test and then the retest. And if you go again, you can see, see the improvements over time. The events, so the events are high energy, uh, arena-like environment surrounded by like-minded people on the same mission. And of course, I've mentioned it already, lots and lots of fun. Founded, moving on, swiftly moving on, it is founded in Germany by Christian Tutske and Mo Furster, former Olympic uh, Olympian. Uh, the first ever race was in April 2018 in Germany. We've then moved to the USA and to the UK and different places around Europe. Of course, in the middle of that was the, the whole scenarios with lockdowns and so on. So there was some virtual championships as well, but it really came back to the UK around the end of 2021, the start of 2022. And uh, that year it started to grow. And then last year, 2023 was when it really started to go mainstream. Now in 2024, Boom, we're going global. Last year saw the first event in Dubai and APAC with uh, Australia, Hong Kong and Singapore. Throughout this year is gonna be more of Asia and then how long before it goes truly global and we open up South America and Africa. Very exciting. Uh, the King, the King. So High Rocks is officially, it is a new sport in the category of functional fitness racing. There's a little bit of confusion around where does it actually sit, but you put the, the running element with the, the stations, the rock stations, put it together, it's functional fitness, and it is at the end of the day a race, because obviously we are being timed. The vision of founder Christian Tutska was to become, and it already is, the marathon of fitness racing. What's meant by that? In running, in the running world, a marathon is seen, seen as the creme de la creme, the top of the mountain, the king, if you like. So people uh, build up to that. They do a 5K, a park run, they're brilliant, uh, very inclusive. Anyone can do it. Then you go to a 10K, a half marathon, and the goal there is a, is a full marathon, which obviously globally are absolutely massive. The big five uh, and all of that kind of stuff. Obviously then some people really super dedicated then go further, go to ultra marathons, go to trail running, uh, UTMB, all this kind of stuff. And uh, um, that's great as well. But the, uh, the king of running is the marathon. And that is what High Rocks is to the functional fitness world. Um, so what's meant by that? It's tough enough that it is very challenging, especially to push yourself and to do a quick time. Uh, but it's simple enough and inclusive enough that anyone can do it. Of course, does that mean it's easy? No, of course it's gonna be hard work. The training's gonna be hard. The event itself is hard. It's all hard, but it's also very worthwhile. A point to note is, Christian, the, the, the founder has said, there will never be half a high rocks or a quarter high rocks or the stations only or anything like that. It's always just gonna be high rocks because, and this brings us on to our next uh, category is, there are enough categories to satisfy all different levels. Um, 
also linking to that point is there is also space and room for other organisations and other events uh, to, to uh, provide those formats also. Um, so categories, we've got the relay, which is four people in a team. We've got the doubles, which is obviously doing it uh, with a partner. Where you're both going to do the runs, but then you're going to get to split the stations however you like. And then the big one for the big dogs, for the tough toughies out there, is the singles. Someone's just coming in the door. Um, so we have uh, different categories. We have the open, which anyone can do. That's open to anyone, as the, as the name suggests. And then we have the pro, which again, anyone can do, but this is just slightly heavier weight on a few of the stations. Um, the categories, the, the, the four categories, are then also split down into age groups. In the singles, it's gonna be split every five years. In the doubles, it's split every 10 years. Um, this levels the playing field somewhat, but at the end of the day, it is you versus you. Average time to complete a high rocks is one hour 30. Uh, world record is quite a bit quicker than that. The slowest record is quite a bit longer than that. More on that in part two. Uh, many people are, are nearer to the two hour record and uh, the record longest time I believe is a mammoth three hours 45. But the key point here is they finished. Yeah, they finished the race and that's what it's all about. Uh, you're gonna be supported the whole way by the community. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, the elite level, the current singles world record in the pro division is uh, 53.22 by, who, who, some may say, the Conor McGregor of High Rocks, Hunter McIntyre. Like I say, more, in that, more on that in part two. And the current doubles world record, which is the fastest High Rocks ever, is 48 minutes, 36 seconds. So shout out to Rick Ryan of America and Peleo Menendez Fernandez of Spain. Uh, for the women, slightly slower, 58-52 by Megan Jacoby of America. And big congratulations to all of those guys. That bar keeps getting pushed higher and higher, quicker and quicker. Again, we'll come on to that in part two. How do you know your time? Now for me, this is one of the, the best things about High Rocks. And one of the first things that really struck me when I first walked in, it was October 22, Birmingham, the NEC. I walked in, I was like, wow, the timing of, of every single person, of every single split, every single event ever. Um, you get a timing chip that goes around your ankle and every single run, every single station, as well as the rock zone is all time. Um, for me, like I say, that is one of the best things about the whole concept and the experience. The Mika timing system, uh, you can go online and that has got every piece of data. So for any data boffins out there, absolutely awesome. You can go through every single race of every single um, event of all time. From there, obviously you can plan your training and work backwards from there. Final point, in uh, final bit, in, if you don't know, episode number two, the Elite 15 series. This is billed as the World Series of Fitness Racing. Some of the best, most impressive athletes on the planet, more in video two. Uh, this season is broken down into four major championships. Last year, last season was two. The season, by the way, runs from around September time through to uh, the end of May, start of June, is the World Championships. Last year, they were in Manchester. Uh, this year, they're gonna be in Nice in France. Um, so this year, they're doing four major championships. They did the High Rocks Championships in Chicago in November last year, Scandinavian, uh, championships in Stockholm December last year they have a small break for Christmas and New Year and then in a couple of weeks time we've got the European Open Championships in Vienna that's in February and then the USA North American Championships in Washington DC that's in March this all builds and the qualification which we won't go into in this video is building towards the World Championships this year the start of June in Nice in France, an absolute festival of fitness. I can't wait. So, hope you enjoyed, uh, if you don't know, part one. The final thought for today for this video is, seeing is believing. You may have seen it online, but experiencing is understanding. So, get yourself to a high rocks. Ideally, as a, as a competitor, as a participant, jump in the deep end 
and see how you swim. If you're a bit nervous, that, say, that nervous energy, the same energy, it's also called excitement, yeah? Just jump in, get involved, give it a go. If you're not quite ready for that, then as a spectator at least, trust me, when you go to the event, you are going to feel it, feel it, yeah? Uh, so, click online, get booked on. Number two, find your local High Rock affiliate gym. More on that in part three. Or reach out to an online coach and get training. Thank me after. Um, if you do see me or any of the ACE or the Smash Life team at an event, then make sure to reach out, come and say hello. We love connecting with new people. So, that was part one. Remember, drop the D. It's not high drops, it's high rocks. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs>